this wall section was created a couple of weeks ago for a architecture class and many of you were asking me about it so today we're gonna do this type of animation with this floor ceiling assembly section All right, last week we went over how to create a brick dynamic block for drawing sections quickly. So today let's go over this construction sequence using this ceiling floor assembly section. So I draw this uh, section in AutoCAD and um, some key points in order to create this kind of animation uh, can be for your class or or for something similar but how I did it was um, using different hatches and colors for instance I'm gonna um, add this ceiling object here on the lane as well as uh, adding the correct hatch so I'm gonna start copying one of these um, planes down like so and I'm gonna call it ceiling so once I do that the key point here is to have the objects on the correct layer so let's see if I have a ceiling tile layer I don't so I'm gonna create it really quick you've seen the layer shortcut m to create or make a new layer i'm gonna say ceiling enter and enter so once i have my ceiling i'm gonna pick a color for this ceiling in this case i'm gonna pick uh, gr uh, green so if i click over here and then click green the trick here is in order to print green you need to pick the true color in AutoCAD so once you pick true color simply click OK and now you can start hatching like so using the H shortcut for the hatch command and simply oops, make sure you have solid selected and then let's start hatching like so click 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 and finally click oops all right so once we have that let's also update using the match properties over here this hatch now um another important key or point here is that in order to create the sequence we need to also have the objects here the line objects on the ceiling uh, layer so but in order to do that let's select them all and let's select it like so so to select it quickly let's select the let's use the blue crossing selection like so and then finally these two lines like so but the selecting the hatch so once i have my lines um, for my ceiling tiles uh, let's make sure that it is on the layer ceiling, of course. So ceiling. And the color, I don't want it to be true green because that's not going to look um, good on my uh, PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a regular AutoCAD color. In this case, I'm going to pick 9 because base on my plot style, nine prints um, light. 
And I'm gonna change this also to color nine. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna change it to color nine and make sure the layer is still sealing. So this is the procedure that I use for all of these other elements on the layout, like steel, duct, and so on. So once you know how um, I did it, we are ready to start creating this construction sequence. So as you can see, there is no, um, um, the layout wasn't set correctly. So let me show you how to set it up for your specific settings. So in this particular case, I'm gonna do right click and pick page setup manager because I want to pick the correct size for my plot as well as the correct settings. So I'm gonna click modify and here I want to create a PDF. So I'm gonna go with the option of DWG to PDF and the size, like I said, I want this to be um, 11 by 17. And then let's make sure extends is checked as well as center the plot, scale one to one, scale line weights. Let's make sure that if you have a plot style table, you can pick it here, I'm gonna pick 88 half, and let's make sure plot transparency is checked. So once I do that, I can click preview to see if it is what I like, and click okay. Now you can click close, and this is a page for a 11 by 17 sheet. So at this point, I'm gonna simply uh, stretch the viewport like so. Make sure it is inside this dash line because this is uh, how it's gonna print. If you put it outside, it's not gonna show on your final PDF. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then I like to have my viewport on a layer that doesn't print. So I'm gonna say def point over here. I'm gonna select the def point layer. And then I'm gonna open the layer palette to make sure that that def point uh, doesn't show whenever I create my PDF. So if I click here, you can see that it's not gonna plot. So that's good. So let me close that. So once I have this, I can get inside the viewport by double clicking on it. And then I'm gonna pick a scale. So scale that might work would be three, um, three, three quarters. Let me see right here so let's go with three quarters see how it looks yep three quarters this is what I like so once it's there let me lock the viewport and we can do a preview so using the preview command with its shortcut PRE we can see how it's gonna look so this is how it's gonna look. Now we can cre start creating the animation really quick. So in order to create the animation, let's call this, let's simplify it, let's say one. And instead of right clicking on it and move or create a copy, I'm gonna do instead, let me rename it to, I'm gonna con hold control uh, key on my keyboard 
and simply left click and you will see a plus icon so release it now and you can create as many of these copies as you want like so so let's create a couple of them and to rename it simply double click on your left mouse wheel so i'm going to say three four five i think we're going to need a couple more so six and this will be six seven and eight so once we have those different viewports uh, we're gonna quickly start freezing layers that's why it was so important to have everything on the correct layer so for instance here on the uh, option one let's get inside our our viewport and make sure it's locked so you can move freely and let's use the freeze command here and start freezing layers for instance the ceiling the the ceiling we can start freezing it because uh, for this construction sequence the order how things are put together uh, first is the beams so let me freeze everything else like so so let me make sure the bin is selected oops so there is a line over here that's okay but let's zoom in and let's fix these lines over here i know that these two lines are the ones that are holding the duck so i i know there should be on the duck layer so i'm gonna press d to a couple of times to go to duck and press enter so it goes away and now this i know they are holding the uh, light conduit or for the fixture so make sure that that is on the correct layer so the electrical all right and this i know it's on the a electrical again so let me put it on the correct layer okay so this don't worry because these are on dev point and they're not gonna print so that's looking good for the first uh, steel bin so now what comes next when we are building this uh, this sequence are is the concrete slab so let's go to the second layout and again let's get inside by double clicking on it and start freezing all of the objects like so and press enter so at this point we have the steel and the, the floor slab that is over here so let's get outside and let's go to the third one again the same procedure start freezing because after the floor slab uh, the ducts are usually what comes next so let's go out let's go to the next one now and again keep freezing layers and leave the sprinkler pipes now because that's what come next go to the next one start freezing and the electrical this one this line was for the ceiling so let me fix that really quick ceiling let's get out of this viewport go to the next one and then here you will see the ceiling so at this point let's see on the first one 
Okay, first, second, third, fourth, and so we don't need this other two. So let me remove these two layouts. And once we have that, we can create our PDF really quick. Let me save this drawing so we don't lose our progress. So we can create a PDF of this. We have all of the settings ready, but let me do a preview. So that's looking good. And let me save it. Uh, let me create a folder over here. So this is number one. That's good. Let's go to the number two. Again, control P and press enter again to accept that. Enter one more time. We don't need to check the settings because we already set it up on the page setup. So at this point, it's just simply pressing enter a couple of times to create your PDF. Control P, enter, enter. Go to the next layout. Control P, enter, enter. And go to the final layout tab. Control P, and enter, and enter. So once we have all of our PDFs ready, uh, let me go to the folder where I just saved them. Which is right here. Let me go to this folder. So it was over here on design eight. That's my design class. So let me close that. Let's go here. Design A. And then we'll be over here. So I have all of the PDFs ready now. So the final part to create your construction sequence for this specific uh, ceiling and floor assembly is to go on the on a website. So let's look for GIF PDF to GIF. And you can pick anyone basically. It's all up to you, but I'm going to pick this first one. So PDF to GIF, choose files. And then I'm going to find my files that I just created. So once I have those, let's select all of them, holding Control Shift and open it like so. So you can click upload. And you'll see all of your uh, PDFs over here. Let's move it like so because it, for some reason it is not showing in order. So first the steel bin, then the slab over here and then we had the ducks so the ducks are uh, can i open this uh, for some reason 
I cannot open it. So that's the, the beam, that's the beam with the floor slab. But for some reason, the duct's supposed to be next. Okay, so that's the ducts. And then the sprinkler pipes. Okay, that's the sprinkler pipes. The electrical is right there. And then the ceiling is right there. So we can convert, click convert to GIF over here. Once we do that, let's give it a couple of seconds. Oops, I needed to click create animated gift. And then you can click convert to gift. So, oops. Okay, it was doing its thing. <laughs> So now you can see this is ready to download. So let me find, uh, okay. So basically you have to right click on it and save as because there is no, oops, what about this one? Uh, no, yeah, right click, save image as and then let's save it for instance over here on my downloads so let's name it something like ceiling floor ceiling floor construction sequence and then save and let me open it really quick so it's right here. And if you can see, this is your final construction sequence. I'm your friend Irving from the Lazy Architecto. Here is another way to save time in AutoCAD.